Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle and today I'm going to be reviewing Poached by Stuart Gibbs. I'm really excited to be reviewing this, but before you get into this video, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that like button. And um, so I'm going to start out by reading the back. So it says, Kazoo the koala is missing, and Teddy Fitzroy is the primary subs suspect. The only way Teddy can clear his name is to crack the case and bring Kazoo back home to the fun jungle where he belongs, all while steering clear of Vance the bully. Otherwise, Teddy will be shipped off to Juvie as a convicted um, koala napper. So this book is really exciting, and um, Teddy has to solve a bunch of mysteries and make a bunch of decisions that takes him to where he is at the end of the book. So in the beginning of the book, there is Vance the bully who forces him to um, get involved with this prank with the shark tank. And it's um, really bad for Teddy because if Teddy gets caught, then his parents could possibly be fired from um, the park. But um, Vance the bully warns him that if he doesn't, they're going to beat him up. So. Um, Vance the Bully, and by they I mean Vance the Bully and Tim Jim, so Tim Jim is two people, they're basically twins, and um, so these two, these two are also bullies, they're friends of Vance, so um, Teddy gets involved with it, and the prank is basically like where um, Vance steals like these um, mannequin pieces from a store, and then um, they take ketchup, and then they put it on like some of the pieces, and then they dump it in the shark tank. So that it looks like the shark ate somebody, which would be really scary for the tourists, which is exactly why Teddy really didn't want to get involved with this in the first place, and he gets caught in the middle of it. So Teddy is running from the security guards and from Marge, uh, uh, Marge the Large, who is also one of Teddy's enemies. She works at the park as a security person, and she um, she's really mean to Teddy. She's always like uh, dragging Teddy on about how he shouldn't be at this park and how annoying he is and Teddy decides to hide in the koala ex uh, exhibit and this is uh, this is gonna end up into like a very bad situation for Teddy because of course this is about a koala napping so basically what happens is they find security footage of him hiding in um, the koala exhibit and yes he did manage to escape um, from large the march and the security guards he got away with that shark thing and they warned him that if it happens again then um, he won't be, his parents could uh, potentially be fired. So um, when they find the security footage, uh, that is exactly when they realize that the koala has gone missing. Kazoo the koala. And Kazoo the koala is really big for Fun Juggle. And if, I, if you guys don't know already, Fun Juggle is this big zoo. And um, it's like, a, it's a big company. And um, there's a lot of people who come to this every year. And Kazoo the koala is very important for um, this to keep uh, this business to keep running because it's bringing in a lot of customers because people are getting interested in koalas. Um, but anyways, um, let's get to the exciting part of this, where Teddy is has finally become the primary sus suspect, and this is this is scary for Teddy. And Teddy doesn't want to investigate because his parents are warning him not to. He can't hide out at his friend Xavier's house um, because he doesn't want to drag Xavier into this mess. And um, police are uh, trying to go after Teddy, and at some point, um, Teddy uh, Teddy does have to talk to the police, and he has to get this case settled, or else he's going to be running for the police for the rest of his life. So, what do you guys think Teddy is going to do? Read the book to find out, and I will leave the links in the description box below if you guys would like to get this book. Um, Amazon, Google Books, and Barnes and Nobles. Um, like I said, this book is so fun, and um, there's a lot of jokes and funny things in this book, and I really think you guys should get it and um so yeah if you guys haven't already make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell and that like button um before before we end this video you guys know that i have a segment to my book reviews where i show you guys what the next book i'm going to be reviewing looks like and in this case here it is um standing stand on the sky so i really love this book it's by aaron bow and um i honestly think this is such an inspirational story and it is just like so heartwarming and the author did a great job with all the details and everything so i am going i'm so excited to be reviewing this one for you guys so make sure you stay active on my page i post every sunday and um so yeah that's all for this video i hope you guys liked it if you did make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell and that like button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys